Hello, I'm Linda from Barlardi's Body Blitz and here's my fur baby little mini behind me having a little nap while we do our workout. Today we're doing all about the legs chair. It's not a very creative name, I know, but because we're using the chair as a prop for pretty much the entire workout, may as well call it chair. So what we're going to need is a mat because we will be kneeling at some point and you need a sturdy chair because we're going to be putting all our weight on it. So make sure it's not something flimsy, not a folding chair, anything like that. If you wanted to, you could hold on to one hand weight to intensify the workout, but I'm just gonna do it without because it is predominantly a lower body workout. We're going to get started with some bar style exercises. So just have the chair off to the side to you and you want to come into a turnout position. Doesn't have to be too turned out. Your shoulders are down and back, your tummy's in. We're gonna have soft knees and all we're doing is stepping out into a wide plie and then pulling back. So you're going out and in and what you're trying to do is, as you come down, sink low and engage your glutes and inner thighs to pull you back up. Then bring your legs together, nice and straight and you want to think about cinching in and zipping up all the way from your heels all the way up to the top of your inner thighs. Floating arms, you can slightly hinge at the waist as you're coming down here. And as you get warmer, sink lower into it. You want a nice wide stance so that your knees never come out over your toes. You want to try and keep them in line with your toes. Just a few more like this. Go for four, three, two, and one. Now the next one, we're doing the same thing. We're going out, we're coming in, and then we're going to tip forward and just lift our leg in an attitude behind. Okay, so it's going to be out, in, tip forward attitude. Out and in, and tip. Out and in, and tip. So I want you to try and make it flowing. So you are still bringing that leg in straight, then bend and tip. So as you're tipping forward, you're tipping your entire upper body in a straight line. You're bringing your leg up bent at the back, turned out, and you're squeezing your glute and front. So your hand is just sweeping very lightly, very fluidly. A few more like this, and then we're going to do a similar thing, but raise to the front. So just go for four, three, two, last one. Now same thing, go out and raise to the front. We're staying upright here. So go out, raise to the front. In a bent leg position, out and sweep up wide and sweep up. So try and squeeze your glute, especially this glute, as you draw your leg in. Wide and sweep up. A few more and then we're going to alternate between back and front. Four, three, two, and one, so now go wide and back, attitude, raise, then come back out and front. So it's back to front. Trying to get low in the middle there. Out, in and up, out, in and back. Now the back raise does not have to be super high. If you feel more comfortable staying more upright and just lifting a little bit like that, that's fine. Just four more. And back. And three. And back. Two. And back. And last one and back, and because we can, just little ups. Little attitude raises. Keep a bend in your supporting leg. Up and up, squeeze your glute. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And switch your chair to the other side. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing, starting with 
the out and zip it up. So now you know it and you're definitely warmer. I want you to sink lower and do everything with a more deliberate motion. So as you bring your legs in, oof, zip it up, squeeze your inner thighs, out and in. Also squeeze your glute of this supporting leg to bring that other leg in. You can hinge slightly at the hips, if that's more comfortable. Let's go four, and then we're going to pick our leg up to the back. Two. Last one, so go out again. Out, come in. Sweep and attitude raise. So your leg is turned out and you're just bringing it up as you're hinging your upper body. Make sure that you squeeze your glute at the top and your supporting leg can either be bent or straight here. Doesn't really matter. And make sure you don't miss out on this inner thigh work here before you hinge. Your leg is bent at the back, not straight. You're coming out and in. Three more. Out and in. Last one, and then we're going to do that to the front. So go out, stay upright and sweep up. It's out wide and sweep up. So you really want to drag that in and zip up through the inner thighs before you bring that leg up. In and up. And making sure your inner thigh is up towards the ceiling as you bring your leg up. All these little angles make a difference. Three. Two. Last one. Now we're going to go back first. Sweep it in and back. And it's out and in and front. It's out, in and back. Out, in and front. Breathe through it. Make sure you're hitting every point. Zip, then lift. It's out, zip, then lift. And remember, you don't have to hinge as much on that back one. If you prefer not to, you can just stay upright and do a little bit of an attitude. Zip in front, zip and back. Three more sets. Wide in front, wide and back. And back, and last set, wide in front, wide and back. Nice job. So we're nice and warmed up now, so we can get a little bit deeper into everything. Now with the next one, you want to have your chair in front of you. I'm going to demonstrate it kind of at an angle so you can see what's going on. So we're going to start off simply by doing a curtsy. You know I love my curtsy lunges. You can either come down like this with a bent leg at the back or you can fully straighten your back leg and that's going to give you more of a stretching but it will still give you work in your front leg, okay? I'm going to do this option. I'm going to come down and then I'm going to lift my leg directly to the side. So that's how we're starting. Side. So it's down, sweep. Now. If you're doing the same as me, I really want you to stretch your heel down towards the floor. And sweep, down, and sweep. So, try not to grip too tightly on the chair. You could technically do this whole series without the chair, but because I really want you to focus on hitting every part of this exercise perfectly, I'm giving you this point of balance. Let's go a few more and then we're going to change it. So you want to make sure that you're towards the front edge of your chair a bit more because you're going to have to clear past here with your knee in a second. Four. Three. Two. 
one. So we're going to come down and then we're going to kick. Then we're going to bring our knee up and then we're going to step back into either once again a lunge, but this is parallel, not turned out, or another stretch back. Okay, so it's going to be from here. You're going to cross either lunge or stretch back. You're going to kick. You're going to come into a knee up. You're going to parallel. You're going to cross. You're going to kick. Knee up, parallel, cross, kick, knee, parallel. So the front leg is actually going to stay parallel, but the back leg is going to cross behind, then kick up directly to the side of the hip, then a knee up, and then back to parallel. It's okay if you mess it up. I know these are a little bit technical, and I mess up as well. So parallel, cross, kick to the side, knee up, back, cross, side, knee up, back, cross, side, knee up. Now, if you can, when you pick up that leg, pick it up straight, then knee, then back, cross, pick it up straight, then knee. Pick it up straight, then knee, back, cross, straight, and knee, two more sets. And knee, back, cross, straight, and knee, stay here. We're gonna go straight and knee, straight and knee. Now I want you to lift up on the front leg, straight and knee, straight and knee. Try to get your knee up quite high. Now, can you do a little jump on your supporting leg? It's a micro jump, just to get the heart rate up a little bit. Up and up, up and up. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up here, just flick. Flick, 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 flick. Stay up. Try to keep your whole upper body nice and straight and try to keep the leg up high and flick, flick. Directly in front. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna to go to the other side. I just realized we forgot those attitude raises on, on the other side when we were supposed to hold it and attitude raise. So let's just do them quickly now. Just attitude raise, up and up. Can't be uneven, can we? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Tummies are in. It's okay if your leg is straight or slightly bent. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. So we're doing the same thing again. I'm gonna demonstrate with the chain front this time. So we're gonna start off in a curtsy but our back leg is gonna be straight. If you can, if you wanna do a curtsy lunge and keep the back leg bent, you can, but I'm just gonna keep it straight. And from there, we're just gonna go out to the side, come back behind, out to the side. So I want you to bring your leg up in a straight position, okay? So you're coming down and then directly to the side, kneecap to the front back straight and try to keep your body nice and upright. That's going to involve more of your obliques. Why not? We can work our waist as well. All the way behind, stretching your heel down as far as you can to the mat. Stretch sculpting. I like to stretch sculpt because when we're constantly contracting, we're creating these tight muscles and that can look bulky. So if you're lengthening at the same time as strengthening, then that's your best way. Three and two and one. Now come back. We're gonna do this one again. Then we're gonna bring our knee front and then we're gonna step directly back. Now you can either do that back lunge with a bent knee or straight knee. Then we're gonna come cross behind. This leg stays straight the entire time. 
sweep it up with the knee back cross behind sweep it up with the knee back so you decide where you need to stand to make this the most effective okay you don't want to hang on too tight but you want that little bit of balance so you can really hit each position of this exercise perfectly and every time I am lunging I am hinging my body from the hips okay bending from the hips not the waist up to the side try not to lower your leg back wide and front back cross wide and front back cross wide and front so you should be feeling work on your supporting leg as well make sure your weight is in the heel of that supporting leg wide and front how about three more sets out and front back cross out and front last one cross out and front so now just stay back knee up back and knee up now come up on your supporting toe if you feel comfortable if you don't you can just keep going with a flat foot try to get that knee up really nice and high now can you add a little tiny hop on your supporting leg stretch back really nice down with that heel so stretch back up stretch back up remember that hinge and up it's going to help you to get a bit more power just four and three and two and one now hold it up stay up on the toe and just flick it just flick your leg try and keep it up high tummy's in chest is proud shoulders are down and back flick 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 eight seven six five four three two one nice job so we're going to change the position of the chair but before we do anything we're going to take a little bit of a stretch break so you can either use the back of your chair or your seat just put your hands in front and stretch your legs back deep breath in and shoulders down look between your arms one more deep breath okay and now we're going to kneel in front of the chair so you're going to have the chair facing you and we're going to start off as if we're on all fours and we all we're going to do is bring our knee in and up in and up so you're going to have to once again have a look at your body positioning because we will be standing on this leg we'll be bringing it forward and then we're going to raise the other leg so make sure that you're not too close to your chair you can put some pressure into your palms and that's going to give you some work for the upper body as well and you're in a parallel position so you're not turning out at the moment you're just going back and in parallel every time you come down like this you should feel your triceps if you've got your arms in close and your elbows facing down a bit of a tricep push let's go four three two one now i want you to go out then step forward then raise the other leg and when you raise the other leg it's parallel but it's straight then come kneeling and go out then step forward and raise that's the exercise out in and raise down and out in and raise now you can either leave this leg bent or if you prefer you can straighten it all the way and if you're straightening it all the way you can come lower and it'll feel really good through your lower back but just don't hyper arch through the back so it's back and it's up and it's back and it's up now I want you to focus on really squeezing the underside of the glutes because these exercises 
can feel pretty easy if you're not doing the work and really squeezing and it's up. We're going to add on one more thing. Okay, this next one, not everyone's going to want to do it, but if you're ready with me, you go back, you come in, you go up, you kneel on, you go up with the other leg, you come back down. It's back, it's in, it's up, it's kneel, it's raise, it's back, down. If you don't want to do this bit, just do another leg raise with the front leg. It's step in, it's raise straight leg, it's kneel, it's pick up straight leg, it's kneel, it's bend to straight. So it's straight when you pick up this leg, straight when you pick up that leg, and here you're coming through the bend and shooting back. So make sure you're holding on securely. It really depends on your chair, where you're holding on, where you're kneeling, just make it safe, okay? It's back, it's up, in, up, down, back. Just a few more like this. Up, in, up. This up and down will get your heart rate up. So a bit of cardio scalp for you. Now if your knee is too sore on that chair, put a yoga mat, just fold it up on it or a towel. Something that's not gonna move around too much. Two more. Straight and straight. This is the last one. Straight. Stay here. Just up and down, up and down. Now if you want both hands on here, you can. Up and down if you prefer. One up, one down. Just a few more. You've got extra range of motion here because of the chair. Four, three, two, one. Come back down and we're gonna switch it. So, that got my heart rate up. I'm not sure if it got yours up, but I hope it did. If you're doing those up and downs and really squeeze through the glutes, that's your key, squeezing through the glutes. So this time we're starting with the other leg. It's in and back, in and back. Try and keep it parallel, because we're gonna be doing some turnout soon. Now, hands are close. Keep your shoulders straight onto the chair. Your arms are narrow. Every time you push down, you should feel some tricep work. And back. Your hip is gonna wanna try and open, okay? Because naturally it feels easier. Don't let it. Just keep both hip bones looking down at the ground. Four. Three, two, one. Now, make sure you've got enough room. It's out, in, up, down. Out, in, step on that foot, up with a straight leg and down. Both legs are going up straight parallel, not turned out. In, up, and kneel. Make sure you really push the weight into the heel and towards the instep of that front standing leg and then pick up the back leg and squeeze both glutes, both glutes as you pick that leg up. Now if this chair situation, I should have mentioned it on the other side, is just no good for your shoulders or you feel too unstable, you can put your hands on the floor and do this with your hands on the floor, okay? You just might not be able to bring your leg all the way in like this, then just do a knee pull instead. Three more sets, and then we're gonna add on again. And up, this is the last set. So it's out and in, it's up, kneel, grab it, other leg up. Back down safe. You need to find what's safe with your chair. Stand, raise, 
kneel, raise, down, back and in, raise, kneel, and depending on what hand is dominant, you might want to keep the same side, hand up on the lean like you did on the other side, or you might switch it out. It doesn't matter what you do with your hands, as long as you can safely kneel. And if it's not safe, don't do it. Stay on the ground and do another raise with the front leg, okay? So, really think about your glutes. Activate, activate both your glutes from the underside where your hamstring and butt meet, that's where you want to squeeze, okay? And then squeeze and get back down. If I'm going too fast, slow it down. No shame in modifying, make it your workout. I want you to get the most out of it. Three more sets. Up and up and down, back and in. Heart rate is coming up. This is the last round. It's back and in. It's up, we're staying up. And we're just gonna raise it now again. If you want both arms on the chair, do that. One up, one down, whatever you prefer. Keep it safe, keep your hips both looking down at the floor. And raise that parallel, squeezing both your glutes. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, so we just did work this leg. So we're gonna put the chair facing the other way. We're facing the chair away from us. Now I'm assuming that most of you have chairs that don't have arms. If your chair has arms on the side, this is gonna be a bit tricky. You might need to do it without the chair, but we're gonna try. So, you're going to come into all fours position behind your chair. You're going to spread your legs in between the pole. Then I want you to put your leg up on the chair. So you wanna be in a position where, when you're down like this, the inside or crook of your knee, back of your knee is against the post. From here, we're going to keep everything else facing down. This leg is gonna remain in a turnout. Now, I want you to pick up that leg and not rest it. From here, tummies are in, push out of your shoulders. We're just gonna raise up and down, up and down. So, I am trying to tap the top of the chair and then the seat, the top, the seat with a turned out leg keeping a squeeze in my glute the entire time. Once you see it, look down at the mat and keep going. Now, if you don't have a chair and this isn't working for you, then just here. Just pretend there's a chair. Keep your knee turned out and go up and down, okay? Up and down, up and down. If you want to, you can glide your leg along the edge of the chair to make sure you're staying close. And down, up and down. You are gonna turn out a little bit from the hips, that's okay, but I want you to try and face your head down towards the mat. Just four, and three, and two, and one. Now I want you to come into an internal rotation. So your knee's gonna be in, your foot's gonna be out. I want out towards the corner, back in and wrap. In and out, in and wrap. In and out, in and wrap. In and wrap. Try not to place your leg down on the chair, just tap. So you're keeping that isometric contraction of the glute the entire time and tap, in and out, in and tap. You can still do this on your forearms, but your leg is gonna to have to go so much higher, so you might have to do this without the chair 
if you need to go down on your forearms. And that's okay. You just imagine a chair. Four more. And three. And two, you should feel this in your obliques as well. And last one. Come down into that internal rotation, really turn out your foot, and we're just gonna do some fast ups. Just fast, bend, press, bend, press, bend, press, bend, press. Burn it out. Push out of the shoulder blades, no slouching. Bend, press, bend, press. On that diagonal, come on. Just keep going, keep going. Your leg doesn't have to be super high, but it has to be turned in with the knee. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wrap it around, and we're just gonna go up, down really fast. Up, down, up, down. You don't have to go as high. Up, down, up, down. Keep your hip turned out. Face your shoulders down. Look at your mat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Other side. Whoops. Sweating so much. It's another humid day here today. So the sweat is a flying. So remember to set yourself up so that your legs are kind of in between or the chair is in between your legs and then test your positioning by putting that leg up and turning your shoulders back down to the mat. And we're going to start with that up, tap, down. So it's up and down, up and down. I want you to Focus down in between your hands, slightly in front. Keep your hip turned out, but really squeeze that glute and just tap as high as you can. If you want to glide the back of your leg against that rest or against the, that part of the chair, whatever it's called, the side of the chair, you can do that. Now squeeze your glute and keep it contracted the entire time. We are not relaxing at the bottom. We're contracting all the way up and down. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. It's a tough one. You should feel a bit of lower back here as well. Keep everything strong and tight. You can make fists if it's hurting your wrists. You can use yoga blocks, hand weights, if you've got stable hand weights, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna come in and we're going to come out, in and tap. It's in and out, in and wrap it around. In and out, in and wrap. <sighs> So remember, your knee is internally rotated. Your foot is out as far as you can. In and out, in and Really turn your hip out as you tap the back of that chair. That change in angle from internal rotation to external rotation is getting so many muscle groups. Out and around. Try to keep your leg high, even as it fatigues. In and out, in and around. Four more. Out and, and three, and wrap. And two, and wrap, and one, and wrap. Now come back down, push out of your shoulder blades. We're gonna do fast bend, extend. Keep it up, keep that internal rotation, bend, extend. Extend, breathe, breathe. Great for the obliques as well. The side glute should be on fire. Your hips, your outer thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wrap it around and we're gonna do fast up and down. It's just basically an attitude pulse up and down. Keep that turn out. Squeeze your glute, up, down, up, down. Come on, really squeeze that glute. Up, up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Come down for a child's pose stretch. You deserve it. All the way out and crawl your hands forward and really bend through that spine. One more deep breath in. And we're up. Okay. So we just worked this front leg, so we're going to work this leg. So we're going to just use the chair as a guide. So put the chair to the side of you and you're going to come into a side laying position. Now, if you want to, you can lie all the way down like this, but I'm going to stay up on my elbow because I want to keep my obliques engaged. So make sure here you're pushing away with your waistline, your hips are stacked. Now, you want to make sure you've got just a little bit of your leg underneath so you don't want to be too far in, okay? If anything, a bit less. You're just using it as a guide and we're going to start off in a side laying position. I'm going to keep my bottom leg extended because it makes it harder. If you want to, you can bend it in, okay? From here, all we're doing is shooting it up and under. So keep your leg almost up to the top of the base of the chair, if that makes sense. Then go above and below, above and below. Each time, stretch out as far as you can to the opposite side, creating complete straightness behind your knee. Keeping everything else as still as possible. Kneecap to the front, up and down, up and down. Up and down. We're gonna add a front and a back, okay? Don't worry if you mess it up. I might mess it up too. Four, three, two, one. It's down, up, front, down, up, back. Okay, so bend, extend, front, down, up, back. I'm not gonna make it faster than this because I know that the brain does not like this. The brain is saying, why are you making me do complicated things? And I'm saying, because, just because, okay? Because I can. But if you mess it up, don't worry. You get another chance on the other side. And by using your brain like this, guess what? It's a distraction from the burn. So you're welcome. Back, in and up and front in and up and back. You're gonna be dreaming about this. We're gonna do that many reps. No, not really. Okay, four more. Front and back. Front and back. Two more. Starting to burn, right? Last one. In, up, back. Now we're just gonna do rainbows, rainbows over the top of the chair. Keep your kneecap to the front. Rainbow tap, rainbow tap. Can you do something for me? Can you pick up your bottom leg? You don't have to, but if you wanna try, try. Wow, and if the top foot is getting crampy like mine just did, just kind of like flex it or make a barbie foot. Front and back, front and back. That hurts so much more when you lift that bottom leg. Four and three and two and one hold it at the front and just tap tap with the inner thigh tap 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 i want you to really tap the top of your chair and if your chair is very low then come to the outside and just do it as high as you can okay Mine seems to be just the right height. Make sure your hips are stuck. You're not slouching your shoulder. You're away with your oblique. Up, tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. It should burn. We might have to do a few reps here. Now, if that position's uncomfortable, put your leg behind. But if you're doing this, I reckon you can go higher. Because whenever your leg is at the back there, it makes it easier. Tap, tap. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Done with that side. Are you happy? Okay, you get another chance with those mind twister ones. But first, 
We're going to do the more simple one. So I'm not blocking Minnie now. You can see her cuteness. Make sure everything is aligned. Try not to turn out. Test it. Are you too far away or too close? And then it's up and down. So remember, we're going to try and, ouch, we're going to try and keep our leg um, quite high, even on the down. So try to keep it just under and over. It's best to keep looking at it, I have found, because otherwise you kick it. Because even though you think your form is perfect, you end up kidding yourself and you end up slouching and you end up doing all sorts of things and going lower than you think you're really going. So keep an eye on that body. That body doesn't want to do what the brain tells it. That body wants to slack off. Don't let it slack off. Is it burning yet? Ouch, I keep kicking it. Maybe I'm too close. That could be it. Okay, we're gonna do that down up front, down up back. Okay, three, two, one. Go down, up front, down, up back. Now try and keep your hips stacked because they're going to want to turn out. Your kneecap, your kneecap, I just messed it up, sorry. Your kneecap is going to want to stay to the front of the room because it's going to try and turn up to the ceiling. Don't let it. This is my uncoordinated side because it's not my dominant leg. So I really have to co concentrate and focus to keep doing this properly. And don't worry, at the end of the day, as long as you're moving your leg and it resembles something like this and it burns, which is the most important thing, then it doesn't matter if you miss a few or if you mess them up. Okay, we're only gonna do three more sets. Down, up, back, starting now. Down, up, front, down, up, back. That's one. As your leg gets tired, it's doing all sorts of weird things. Front, down, up, back. Last one. My foot is cramping. Now those rainbows. Now, my neck is a bit sore, so I'm going to try and do this without looking. Can you pick up the bottom leg again? If you pick up the bottom leg, I understand that your hip is going to open up a little bit, and that's okay, but Try as much as possible to keep this kneecap to the front. <sighs> Make sure you're not slouching. Make sure you're pulling out of your waistline. And if the chair is just not working for you, get it out the way and do it lower. I'd rather you just do it without really struggling over that chair. Keep it lower as long as you feel the burn. And if you need to bend your leg, do this. You can do that, okay? Four, three, two, one. Now make sure you're by the chair, keep your leg in front, and we're just gonna tap, 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 tap. Tap it up, make sure once again your kneecap is to the front. I'm keeping my leg off the mat the entire time. I'm not letting it rest down. Pushing out of your shoulder. Come on, we can do a few reps here. We're nearly done. We are nearly done. Breathe. Up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. And we're just doing one little thing, which is almost like a stretch. We're gonna bring our legs up. And make sure you're nice and close. And we're just going to come up a little bit, then come down, both legs straight to the side, and then back up, push up a little bit, come down, legs straight. Okay, that's it. And up. And if you wanna add in a little bit of abs, keep your hands behind your head. Come down and up. 
So this out you can make it quite wide and it's going to give you a nice inner thigh stretch. And up. And up. Four more. And three. And two. And last one. And keep it up and guess what? We're ready to stretch. So just keep your other leg on the chair. Bring your leg in towards you. Try and keep it as straight as possible. Doesn't matter if you can't bring it close, just keep it straight. Nice hamstring stretch. Bend stretch through that knee. That should feel really good. Now I want you to scoot closer so you can actually grab your chair legs and I want you to bring that leg across and push away with your knee. Should feel really nice. And if you want to bring it in, you can actually put your heel on the other side of that chair and bring it all the way in or just bring it up, up to you. You can thread your arm through. That makes that stretch a lot more intense. And then if you can, just bring that leg out to the front. So you're still kind of keeping your hips straight up to the ceiling, but your legs out to the front, which stretches more inner thigh. And then just put the side of your feet on the chair and let your knees drop to the side, opening up through the hips. You can kind of butterfly your legs a little bit here. And we're gonna do the other leg, that hamstring stretch, bend press. And then cross that over and just push away on that knee. Or if you want to, you can bring it all the way in. Ah, oh, that feels so good. In a very kind of torturous way when you've got tight glutes. And then just bring it out and down to the side, straight leg with a nice inner thigh stretch. And one more time with that hip opener. I really like doing this. You can do it on the ground as well, just opening up through those hips. And then we're just going to come into side lying and stretch our heel to our glute and push our hip forward to stretch our quad. Ah, oh, that feels really good. And then just come into a cross position like this and both your butt cheeks are on the mat and you're pulling in through that knee. And then just other side. Pull that heel right into your glute. It will really intensify that stretch and push your hip forward. And then just come up, cross that over. And one more butterfly stretch, soles of the feet together. You can push down and open up. One more inner thigh stretch, bend press through your knees. Just cross-leg it and stretch your arms over and over and across and across and twist to the back and overhead side to side and that is it thanks so much for joining me for all about the legs chair workout I hope you love the chair now or you might be throwing it in the in the bin 
and never doing this workout again. You can see now that you can use that chair for so many different things, not only just to hold your weight, but also for transferring your weight up and down, for a cue to know where to raise your legs to, for some mind games by going in and out of, of the chair legs. So you can really use it in an innovative way to work your entire body and get all those angles in. That's what I'm all about, working every single angle of your body so that you never develop these kind of imbalances. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next segment. Bye for now.